Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to the final episode of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. This is where the season and the series will come to an end and like I said, I'll play the rest of the Premier League games off camera because I was going to clinch the title. It was officially done with a 3-1 Victory away from home against Southampton. Just show you the result there, really, uh, with the goals and everything like that. Roy scoring, Munir and Tielemans. Uh, Tielemans would definitely go on to be a superstar of Manchester United. Being at that wonder kid status, he's yeah, pushing towards his best right now. So he's had a breakthrough season, I feel. Uh, maybe the previous season uh, was pretty good as well, but I just feel this season he's gotten better as a player, at least. Like his attributes, everything like that. Uh, but it's secured. Uh, Man United win the Premier League. We won it for the last three seasons, uh, which was pretty good. Uh, and then going on to this one as well, it's not said there because we haven't won it officially yet. It's not clear. Uh, it will say that when we won, uh, when the season finishes. All four season, I've all four seasons I've won it, which is pretty good. I'm happy with that. You know, like. Uh, the first season was really, really close. If you watch the first season of this series, uh, way back, w way back when, it feels like so long ago. But yeah, good achievement. Uh, finish on the stats. We didn't have anyone that led. I'll just show you who yeah got the highest of everything. Jack Jackson Martinez actually scored the most goals. How old is he now in this save? Yeah, 31 and still smashing in goals. Mario Balotelli tops the average ratings, which is interesting. He scored a decent amount of goals. Raheem Sterling dominating with assists, quality player. Uh, most player of match awards, interesting, that is Sebastian Giovinco. And yeah, he's an ex-player of ours. We signed him, remember, on a free transfer. Then got that profit of 20 million that we invested over the last couple of seasons uh, wisely through other signings. Uh, Mignolet, the most clean sheets. Liali, but he didn't play every single game. He got 12 from 18 games, and Mignolet got 16 from 29 games. So saying if Liali played every single game, he probably, yeah, would have beat him out. And most yellow cards, I wouldn't say that's awards, so no bother mentioning that. So anything else in terms of... And you can see the dominance really uh, continued. Oh, when's the last... This must be a record, yeah? When was the last time Man United or just a team in general won four Premier Leagues in a row? Has that ever happened? Oh, Liverpool almost <laughs> with Aston Villa in the break there. Uh, you're going to have to keep going down and keep going down a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's going so long ago. Was Arsenal there? So... I'm going to go back and obviously losing or not even be able to make the final of the Champions League this season was a disappointment, without a doubt. But I've gone pretty far every season. I've either made the semi-final or the final. Um, the three seasons I've been in Champions League, of, of course, Man United didn't qualify in real life the year before. So the first season we weren't in Champions League. But I, I've either made it to the semi-final or final every year that I've been in it, which I'm happy with. So that's a good thing. Of course, you could say it's a disappointment, but yeah, this series is not going to go down as a failure. Winning four Premier League titles in a row, that, just from the years I showed you, that never happened. So I'm pretty happy with that achievement. Uh, consecutive Premier League wins, uh, that fans are happy about that. Four times in a row, that's huge. That's a huge domestic achievement. And the supporters uh, will be so happy. Some, yeah, some supporters probably rate the Premier League higher than Champions League. They want to do well yeah, domestically, you know. Uh, so the board is pleased with that. And again, I'm just, I'm so happy I was able to do that in this series. Like I've already gone off not making the final, not winning the Champions League this season. I've gone away from that and not really caring about it as much because this is a huge achievement. And to, to finish off the domestic success in this series. I would love to beat Chelsea. Uh, so from now, I'm going to play the rest of the games off camera, and then I'll update you. Unless something really important happens, unless I get a really important message, I'll show that. Uh, but if not, I'll play the next couple games off camera, and we'll play the FA, Cu FA Cup final uh, in this episode. So guys, I ended up playing those both games, and well, I'm glad I didn't record them, because they both finished nil-nil. I wouldn't say a bore draw, uh, we did create chances, just couldn't finish. 
uh, probably been the problem we've had in recent games. Again, creating more chances than our opponents, uh, but just not quite getting the job done. And of course, if you're watching my AC Milan series, of course, Fayouzi Gulam uh, would be getting the man of the match, getting the highest ratings because of his long throw-ins. Uh, but we'll go back again and we'll see the Swansea game. I just played right now. We had 17 shots on target, 37 in total, 57% uh, possession. Uh, Sergio Ramos, uh, the player of the match in this game. Uh, we should have got the three points once again. Uh, maybe playing some guys like Royce, he wants to leave, not doing well. But then I brought on some good players and we still couldn't score. Uh, but hopefully they're saving themselves. We should be due to score against Chelsea. Surely we won't uh, not score in three games in a row. <laughs> I'm just hoping for that to be a thing. But also there's some just awards being given out here. Uh, Balotelli claims the Football Writers Footballer of the Year Awards. Sterling wins the English PFA Player of the Year Award. Uh, Lukaku, top goal scorer for the season. Uh, Depay. He uh, claims the English PFA Young Player of the Year award. And he has... Well, that's his second time. That's his second time. Uh, pretty good. He's a quality player. Uh, goal of the season. Barclays Premier League goal of the season. Uh, none of our players in there. So who, who's this guy? Hubbard El Nini. I haven't heard of him before. Yeah, he's an average player. He's good long shots though. So not surprised he is there. Uh, anyone else? Me, I claim the ma uh, Barclays manager of the season. I should do every season. Yep, four seasons I've won it. Four seasons we've won the Premier League in a row. Fantastic stuff. Um, let's see our players' name in the team of the season. It says Phil Jones was selected in the Barclays Premier League team of the season in that centre-back position. And also Memphis Depay and Marco Royce were selected amongst the substitutes. Like, I think he's played a decent amount of games this season and he wanted to leave. Again, a bit disappointing. But I guess nothing ever is going to come of it. <laughs> uh, Depay, uh, he are oh, he dedicates to me. See, I like Memphis. He's nice. He doesn't want to leave like Royce. Uh, compared to him, what he started five more games. It's not a huge difference. Uh, Everton, uh, Sack Deitch, anything else? Newcastle, Sack Pardew. <laughs> so yeah, eventually. Uh, those moves being made. So we are working on attacking movement against Chelsea. Hopefully, that will make a difference. We are working on attacking in the general training now as well after those results. So surely, it will all come down to this though. Um, hopefully, we don't get any injuries in the next five days and we can finally win the FA Cup. The Champions League hopes is gone down the drain, but there's still the hopes of winning the FA Cup. So like I said, I hope for no injuries, but then Munir goes up and picks up a broken shoulder in training. That's a bit disappointing. So he's going to be out for the rest of the season. Of course, yeah, he's going to miss the FA Cup final. A bit disappointing, but I guess uh, we are going to have to... I'll just take him off there, yeah, and we'll just promote uh, Richard Zivkovic and James Wilson's probably going to have to make the bench. Uh, we'll just put him on there for now. But yes, it's disappointing, but... Yeah, it's not too disappointing because Zivkovic is going to start. He's been a bit up and down in training, but hopefully, yeah, he'll be able to assist us in winning the Cup. He's had an all right campaign in the Cup game so far. Five goals in nine. Not absolutely killer, but still a decent amount. So, guys, here we are. This is the day. FA Cup final. Oh, it's our time, I feel. And it's probably the hardest team we've faced in the final. I think it's... Is it the third final we've made? I think it is, and... I've known we've lost teams, I think, against a team like Norwich or something like that. And, yeah, this is the huge one. It means the most. And it's our final chance for a really big success apart from league success. Success Like, we've won four leagues in a row. Sure, that's good. But this is a chance to add something else that I haven't won yet. So, really important uh, to do so. See, FA Cup final, the holders are Liverpool. So, it'll be, yeah, one of us, oh, Chelsea, they're a good team. Uh, where did they finish in the season, though? Just to compare that a little bit. They finished fourth, so not the most dominant season. Not a dominant Chelsea season. It was a dominant season for us. Uh, we didn't end up getting the 100 goals, unfortunately. Last two games, yeah. <laughs> you would have put us money uh, put money on us to yeah, score it. But, yeah, I guess not. We still won the title. That's 
all that matters at the end of the day. But going in with probably our strongest lineup here, we'll go through it just because this is the final game, really, being realistic, I'm going to play. We'll bring in Ika Casillas as the goalkeeper, though. This is our strongest team like that I've built from the start of this series until now. This is, I feel this starting 11 is really, really good. If you take injuries out of it, this is what we have. Casillas, experienced goalkeeper. Then the back four, Sergio Ramos, Phil Jones, Belanta, and Luke Shaw. Amazing defense there. Very experienced and mixed with just yeah, a lot of quality. The three in midfield, Lucas Romero, defensive midfield. Yuri Tielemans, who's a wonder kid and just getting to his best, like I mentioned earlier. Mario Goetze, a world-class midfielder, without a doubt now, a 25 then the attacking three in Hamas Rodriguez, Memphis Depay, who's actually been really poor recently, but you know how class he's been for us. And then Rochara Zivkovic, you know, his goal scoring record is really, really strong for us. So I'm really happy yeah, going to my final game with Manchester United in FM15, unless I play it a bit later, but I reckon this is the time to finish it. Hopefully we can finish on that high. And this is Chelsea's side. It doesn't look as good, you know. For me, it looks a bit, a bit unbalanced. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Fabregas still playing for them. He's 31. Uh, there's it's it's a good team, but they got Wanyama. Is he that good? Is he the top top level? Of course, if he's just playing in his role, maybe a ball winning midfielder. Yeah, he'll suit that. Interesting. Hazard is playing centrally, not out wide. You know, out wide he's a danger because he's dribbling. He can still showcase his dribbling. And they got Abu Bakar. A few seasons in, he's definitely a good striker, physical beast. He can smash in goals. So. I still wouldn't see him as a world-class striker. I don't know. They have Diego Costa on the bench. Uh, he's got very strong mentals, but I feel he may be underrated a little bit, but he's not match fit, hasn't really played a lot this season. So we're going to go in and hopefully, please, FM gods, we are so unlucky in finals, in latter stages of this. Come on. Please, we deserve this. I want to finish. I don't want to like finish this series with a loss. Come on. Or I may actually then be motivated to actually play another season. Nah, but come on. Finish this on a high. I was disappointed with your performance against Atletico Madrid. Come on, let's do it now. Let's win the FA Cup. It's Abubakar. It's Azard. And it's Belanta going for the challenge. Romero as well. That was well done. Come on, can we get an early goal? It'd be amazing if we score this early. Goethe. Okay. No highlight. <laughs> Getting excited for nothing. A yeah, pretty tight contest early. That's a hard tackle. Aspilla Quetta. Ooh, early yellow card. Could be dangerous for later in the game. Uh, Jones picks up a yellow. So, yeah, both defenders. A uh, defender on both teams pick up an early yellow. We'll see if that will be an impact. But come on, Ramos. Why did he just give it up to Wallace? I didn't see a point in that. But, oh, we win it back. Hamas Rodriguez. Hamas Rodriguez! Yes, we're ahead. He's 21st of the season. A super signing from Real Madrid. And unfortunately, he can only do so much, you know, when you talk about the Champions League disappointment. That was so skillful. He puts us in a really good position early. Well done. First shot on target, really, for us for the game. And he put it home with skill, just dribbling past like that. But now it's another long throw in. But Tielemans clears it. Back to that man who threw it in, Espilicueta. And now Oscar Depay challenges. Well done, Memphis. Hasn't been too, uh, scoring too many goals recently, but that's nice. Oh, Blanta. And he's doing the opposite. He's dribbling past. Oh, that would have been amazing. Was that Blanta really just dribbling past? He can do that. Wow. You don't see that too often. But Blanta, you know he's a beast. You can't doubt him. Hamas Rodriguez sprays it back to Blanta. And Tielemans. It's like he's part of the midfield. Uh, Balance is a superstar. Would love a second goal because this is not a for sure win yet. Another goal will put us in a real strong position. Now Zivkovic. Come on. Zivkovic. Zivkovic! It's two. It is two. And this is at our best. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. This will be a perfect way to end it. This is what I want. This is what I want. And that was amazing. Showcasing us at our pinnacle. The best we are. And we have control here. The game is not controlling us. We're controlling the game. It's 2-0. Come on, let's continue and maybe smash them. And show us, or show them, how really good we are. 
But come on, it's still a tight game possession wise and shots wise. It's been pretty even, but our players have the individual brilliance has been too good. Can we get another though? Make it three. Make this a big win. Ramos maybe. Or Tielemans. Sprays our white to Luke Shaw. The best English left back in the world right now. And oh Wanyama, give him a red. Okay, no red. But it's a penalty. It's gonna make it three nil. Hopefully Harmes Rodriguez. It's very interesting. He could finish this. Oh, no, no, yes. Oh, my God. Is that going to be a crucial miss? Is my team going to lose it now? That's probably the only way it could be turned around here. Uh, we miss a penalty and confidence gets dropped. That's the only way. But hopefully, yeah, it won't be a concern for us. But that's disappointing. What a save, though. I'm not sure if that hit the bar or it was Courtois. And I didn't mean to rhyme that. It's just the way it went. But still, we'll skip that. Uh, yeah, that's the only way I feel we'll drop it. Come on, let's just get a third to lose that. Memphis Depay. Memphis. Oh, I want him to do well, kind of, because it's yeah, leading to the next season in real life. Uh, maybe he can be a huge signing for Manchester United and he can do well for them. But you still got to be happy. I'll go impassionately and say very happy. You can't be too disappointed. Uh, it was a good or could have been a good save. Don't really know technically. Uh, but it would have been gone for sure for Chelsea. And we would have won this for sure, I reckon, at 3-0. And it's not for sure here, though. It's still, but should have when Yama got another yellow. That could be a question as well. Hamas Rodriguez, he finishes it now. That's how you finish. And that's his second for the game. Uh, 22nd for the season. And it really looks unlikely for Chelsea here. This is what I want to finish it off. Yes, that beautiful play, that through ball by Goethe, and then Harmas Rodriguez just gliding past the defenders to make it 3-0, but they've got a corner here. Azard, Azard, oh, clear it. Oh, well done, Jones. A couple of ex-teammates there was Jones and Stones. <laughs> Used to be an ex-partnership at the back for us, but no. Uh, he moved on, didn't he? So that was an interesting move. And yeah, it's time just to make some changes here. We're not going to lose it from here, surely. Anything can happen in football, though. It can't be too. Um, yeah, but oh, like you got a yellow card with Phil Jones, but he's been good defensively. Blant has been beastly, though. One of the better players that hasn't scored. <laughs> like you look at Hamas Rodriguez, will deserve to be yeah the player of the match. And we'll leave him on to try and get a hat-trick. Mario Goetze will... We'll take him off. Like, what's the point in taking him off? Because, like, there's no other game to miss. So I'd rather take off Tielemans on a yellow and we'll bring on Oliver. I reckon that will be just the single change we shall make from here. There we go. And I just want to keep going here. I'd love to finish this on a 5 nil or something like that. That will be absolutely huge to showcase our dominance. 3 nil is still strong. Or maybe I'm getting too excited. Chelsea, they've had a few. They've actually had more shots than us. That's very interesting. But obviously, we've had more clear chances, uh, four to one. But come on, I'd love another three nil. Is just yeah. Well, but this is Chelsea. This is another big team. This has been a dominant win. It looks like it anyway. Don't want to get too ahead of myself. Uh, maybe another change. Uh, Memphis Depay. See, he's been good, but I don't think this season, and especially recently in recent games, he hasn't been world class. So we're going to bring on... Ooh, Royce has got better morale. He's on good morale. We'll bring him on. He's got a bit more about him than Yanazai. he got the experience. So we'll make that change. We don't look like losing it here. I would have my first FA Cup win. I, I wanted to win it earlier than this because it's not the same kind of prestige as winning a Champions League. But domestically, yeah, it's, a, it's the best cup competition to win... And Goetze ends up getting injured, but he's going to be yeah finish off the season now. That's what I mean. If he got injured, doesn't really matter. Uh, but we're going to bring on Yanazai. He can actually play there a bit. He's, I think, competent. Yeah, competent at centre mid. And last time I played him there in the league, he did pretty well. It was against a lower team, but he still yeah, dominated the midfield, uh, created chances and whatnot. But yeah, we've got this now. We've got it. I'm happy now. I'm happy now. My manager can retire happy <laughs> in this save specifically. Yeah, we've got it. Well done. Well done. We had the control in this game and we showed it. We got the result we deserve and I'm happy. I'm happy. My players, I'm just happy about my players. We deserved it. I'm really happy that we, in this save and in now the series on YouTube, uh, this has been a really successful domestic 
series, uh, domestic save, uh, with domestic dominance for us. Uh, Chelsea still had a lot of chances, but not really clear-cut chances or anything like that. We dominated 3-0 and showed we are the best English team in the world. So there we go. See, I've never won the FA Cup. See, that I remember losing against Norwich for sure and Liverpool last year, was it? Yeah, so... That could be, yeah, two, we'll go, yeah, two, oh, that hurts, that hurts, two semi-final losses in a row, so, yeah, I kind of don't feel it, because there's a long, a lot of recording time passes, like a whole season you play, but, yeah, the players, uh, when you look at this save specifically, they'll be really mad, players that's been there uh, for the whole time and lost in both uh, finals, they wanted to turn it around, they definitely showed that, and last time they won it was 2004, so 14 years apart, it's, it was, they were due, they were due, you know, we were due, so anything else interesting, uh, Bakali, FA Cup final, oh yeah, Bakali, he's, he wasn't even part of it, but he gets a bonus, we signed him as on a free uh, a while back, that uh, was, yeah, so long ago we signed him, uh, we celebrate success, uh, like I mentioned there, trophy has not been ours since 2004, but now it is, now it is ours, and anything else? No, that's really... That's going to finish. I'll just try and simulate a couple other days. But, yeah, that's that's the pinnacle. That was all... That was... Yeah, and you're just going to get these end of season. Jones sets records. All these records are going to be set now. But that is it for now. Uh, we finish this huge series. I'm so happy, honestly. Like, I'm forgetting about all that Champions League stuff. We did pretty well. I think we made the semi-final twice and the Champions League final once. That I'm pretty happy with that in Champions League. Made semi-final twice. Uh, got beaten by Atletico this time. Previous was Real Madrid, then lost in the final against Real Madrid. It was pretty huge. So I'm really happy about this. I may do another video. So this may not be the... This is officially kind of the last episode, but maybe, uh, like I said, I may play the save a bit later, but I may just go through a youth team or something like that. I won't do in this episode because it's not a for sure thing I want to do yet. Maybe a bit later. Um, in the year, when I say that, maybe in a couple months, I won't do any, I want to say this officially, I won't be doing any more FM15 content once FIFA 16 is out, because then the focus will be that, and then, yeah, next videos I make will be FM16, and also I wanted to say, what would you like to see replace this series in Football Manager? I've actually, people... Uh, a lot of times suggested me to go back to lower league management. And I keep saying, yeah, I'm not really into that. I haven't played it for so long, but I just had a feeling before. Maybe I could get back into it. I don't know. Or would you like to do? Or would you like to see me do that? Uh, improving Australian football series. I mentioned it won't be with face cam though. It just yeah, decision I made now because. Um, yeah, face cam. If you watch a lot of people on YouTube who do that, uh, they usually have one video a day at most, sometimes two. And I want when I think about what I want my channel to be is I want to be like a source of Football Manager and FIFA content. Uh, where there's just uh, when I do YouTube full time um, in the future, hopefully, and I'm living on my own, I want to be pumping out like something like four or five videos a day. I reckon if I have a if I you know, when it's my full time job and I can work on it all day, I could pump out yeah, five or four to six maybe on average videos a day, I could just yeah work on it all day, and I'd actually do that, I wouldn't slack off, I'd yeah smash out videos, maybe some days may not be as much, but it would average that, you know, so hopefully, yeah, that could be a case in the future, but I think that's it, we finish on a high, and this has probably been my most successful series on YouTube, I'm really happy, smashed over 100 episodes, uh, very in-depth as well, finished four seasons, I know some people um, who do Football Manager videos, like sometimes I get comments, um, you've done this many episodes, and you've only finished four seasons, you're only four seasons in, I know a lot of people play off camera a lot, but uh, I do it sometimes, like you saw this episode, but I don't do it so much, I wouldn't play, I'm not someone to play half a season off camera like some people do, but that's probably in lower leagues, but still, that or even three months or something, or two months, I'm not, that's not me, you know, so hopefully um, you do like that with my videos, uh, but like I mentioned, way back, uh, when I started this save, when the game got released on the beta, because I had the pre-order, uh, yeah, the first minutes, basically, the first game, I, I just pressed new game and went to Manchester United and loaded it up. It was a long time ago, it feels like. I remember recording those videos when I got the game right away. Uh, on the first day I got it, first hour really, uh, first minutes <laughs> recorded right away, the, everything you saw, and now it's come to the pinnacle now, where we've won four league titles in a row, and now we're FA Cup. When I started, 
I was a legend in the making and now I'm feeling like the greatest. 